On this episode of Throttle Out, we'll be taking this Jeep from lightly modded to fully capable. So in the shop today, we have a lightly armored JLU. Now, right now, this is totally able to tackle some lighter trails while also turning some heads with this custom dip, but I've chosen some very functional, stylish, and convenient mods that are gonna take that to a whole new level. Now, in this build, we'll be incorporating some high quality as well as some high performing parts ready to tackle any trail while still remaining road worthy and having some more aggressive styling than it already has. So with that being said, let's jump into the build. So adding a lift kit to your Wrangler is going to offer you a number of different advantages and benefits and the lift kit that I chose is the Terraflex 2.5 inch Sport ST2 suspension lift kit with 3.1 Falcon piggyback shocks. So this is going to come with everything that we need to create a very comfortable street driving experience while also being able to dish out a lot of that performance while on the trail. Now this is going to have ST in the name which stands for street and trail and this lift kit is perfectly tuned for a really good blend of street and trail driving, which is exactly what I wanted to see out of this build. So this is gonna do a really good job at opening up some room in the wheel well for some better articulation and up travel off road, while also gaining a lot of room for some larger wheels and tires, which is something that we'll get into in just a minute. Now, not only is this going to do a lot for performance, but like I said earlier, we wanna create a more aggressive look out of our Wrangler, and this lift kit is gonna help us do that, leveling out the rake in the hood, creating a more aggressive stance. So one thing that I really like about this lift kit is that it comes with a bunch of components that will accommodate for that extra two and a half inches of height that we've put on our Wrangler. Now one of the big things that is going to be responsible for some of that adjustment is the front lower control arms. This is going to correct that caster angle and this is also going to eliminate any weird driving characteristics that we would get after lifting our Wrangler. So speaking of ride quality, one of the components that is most responsible for that is going to be your shocks and these 3.1 piggyback shocks are not only going to give you some street comfort but they're also going to be ready to dish out that performance when we hit the trail so these are going to be a little bit stiffer than your factory shocks because these are gas charged as well as a reservoir shock so this is going to reduce body roll when going around corners and they're also going to be able to handle some bumps at higher speeds with the reservoir directly mounted to the back of the shock body this is going to increase our flow which is something that we really need when we're working the shock really hard. And it's also going to be very durable, made of a tough aluminum construction. So I personally really like this lift kit and it's a high quality and a high performing lift kit. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we can jump into our next mod. So our next mod is gonna go out to this wheel and tire setup, which is the Pro Comp 17 by nine wheels wrapped in a 35 inch Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tire. And it's really gonna complement that two and a half inch lift that we just put on our Wrangler. Now this is gonna be very functional with the tire size as well as the construction. And starting off with that tire size, this is gonna give us a lot of room in the wheel well to work with when we're off-road. So we're gonna have a lot of room for up travel and articulation, but it's also going to really fill out the wheel well very nicely, giving us an aggressive looking Jeep and an aggressive stance overall. Now this is an all-terrain tire, which is going to give us that perfect split between street and trail performance. This is gonna have a pretty aggressive lug for an all-terrain tire, providing us a lot of traction for those trails when we go off road. This is going to also have some mud terrain characteristics, including that self cleaning aspect, which is something that is pretty important with off road performance. So essentially what self cleaning is, when you give your Jeep a little gas, is flick all of that extra mud that's stuck in the lugs out, which is really important as far as traction goes. And because we didn't go really big with a wheel, we went right in the middle with a 17 by nine. We're gonna get a decent amount of sidewall here to air these down. These lugs on the side are really gonna help us out so we can wrap around obstacles while we're out on the trail. So not only are the tires going to be very functional and help us out with our aesthetic, but the wheels are too. These are actually gonna be a perfect size. These aren't gonna be too big and flashy, but they're not gonna be too small. These are gonna give us a decent amount of sidewall while the matte black finish is gonna go very well with our color scheme. And the riveted accenting on the side is going to give us that very aggressive styling, which is exactly what we want for this build. Let's go ahead and jump into our next mod. Okay. 
So our next mod is gonna give us a lot of accessibility, style, and a lot of heavy duty protection. And that's gonna go out to the Rockslide Engineering Gen 2 Step Sliders. So now that we've added two and a half inches of lift to our Wrangler, can be pretty difficult to get in and out very easily. But thanks to these, this is gonna give us instant accessibility as soon as we open up our door. So now that the door is open, a step is going to come out immediately. And this is going to give us a good stepping surface to make sure getting in and out of our cab is as easy as possible, especially on our day to day. Now, as soon as we're finished with our step slider, we can close our door and they tuck right back up into themselves, making sure that this is gonna give us the clearance that we need to take this thing out on the trail. So this is going to be incredibly durable, making sure that it's gonna stand up to any obstacle, made of an 11 gauge CNC cut steel. So this is going to give us some underbody protection and some outward protection. So if we were to go out to the trail and drag over any obstacle, our underbody will be okay. Or if we take our Jeep to the store and somebody opens up their door in the parking lot, our body is gonna be protected because this is gonna come out a little bit. Now, what I really like is the fact that this tucks very high and tight to the rocker. It's gonna give it a very sleek look. The black powder coat is really going to complement the other black accents that we have on our Wrangler. So now that we're finished up with these, let's jump into our next mod. So our next mod is right up front and it may be a smaller mod compared to our other ones, but it's definitely gonna make the difference. So this is the Red Rock 4x4 Trail 13 inch short antenna. And it's not only gonna help us out with our styling, but it's also gonna be very functional as well. So this is gonna be a lot shorter than our factory antenna. And this is also gonna give us a very sporty look to our Wrangler. So if we go out on the trail and this does take a hit, this is gonna be flexible and it's also gonna have a black weather resistant rubber coating on the outside, which is gonna hold up and last a very long time. This is also still gonna give us some pretty good reception, even though this is a shorter antenna. So now that we wrapped up with the antenna, let's head up front and check out our last mod. So our last mod is mounted right up front on our bumper here, and this is gonna be the Smittybilt 9,500 pound XRC winch with the recovery pack. And I've also added the Smittybilt aluminum shackle too to make sure that this is the complete package. Now we could add all of the mods in the world, but when you're stuck, you're stuck and you need some extra insurance out on the trail. And this is exactly what this Smittybilt winch is gonna do. So this has a 9,500 pound pulling capacity, which is actually gonna be perfect for our setup. We don't have a lot of heavy armor going on and we're not carrying a bunch of extra stuff up on top or inside of our Wrangler. This is going to be a lower pulling capacity, but serve our build very well. Now, this is also gonna have a steel line, which takes out all of the extra maintenance that a synthetic line would. And it's also gonna be a little bit more cost effective. This is going to be a very well-built winch. This is going to be IP67 rated, meaning that it's waterproof as well as dustproof. This has a three-stage planetary gear system, a 6.6 .6 horsepower motor, and a 161 to 28 to 1 gear ratio. This is also going to have a very sleek matte black body, which is going to match with any other of our matte black accessories, really going with our black and white theme. Now, speaking of that black and white theme, our shackle is going to fit in that very nicely. With the winch kit, you also are getting a tow hook and I wanted to take it a step further. I wanted to make this thing more functional and higher quality and that's where this shackle steps in. This is gonna be a little bit safer because this is a closed unit. So when you're in a recovery situation and you have your tow hook, that's gonna have a little clasp on it that you clasp onto a D-ring. Now that little clasp can end up failing because that is an open unit. With this, you're hooking the D-ring through this and this is is not going to fail as easy as a tow hook would. Now, tow hooks still are incredibly durable, but like I said, I wanted to take this a step further. This is going to have a 17,000 pound pulling capacity. This is definitely gonna get the job done, and that's why I want it paired with this build. It's gonna look good mounted up, completing the look of our front bumper, but if we need it, it's there. So that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Throttle Out. Make sure you guys comment down below and tell me what you guys think of this build. What would you add to this JLU or what would you do differently? Also make sure that you like and subscribe for more cool content like this, as well as our product videos and install videos. And always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.